Alright, welcome back everyone to another Tech Zone uh, tutorial. I'm going to show you how to... Well, actually we're going to continue with our PS1 game by now converting it into a PSP format so we can use it on our PSP. Last time I just showed you how to back up your PlayStation 1 disc. And here are the files. Here's the image file. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to convert it. So, things you will need. You will need Pop Station GUI. You can download it for free. The link will be in the description. Okay. And you will need two uh, images of the game. Now, I'll show you what I mean a little bit later on. Okay. So, let's open it up. And this is what you should get. And uh, what you will need to do first is l look for the file. So, look for the image file. Select that. Okay. And uh, next up. Output folder where it's going to save, it's going to save in the same destination. Compression level is how much it'll compress the file, which means if the compression level is higher, the smaller the file size. File size. But the lower the comp higher the compression level, there could be more chances of ins. Okay, it won't be really stable. So put your compression level to around medium or something. But I'm going to leave it as nine, which is the highest level because I tested it and it works. Game title, Jurassic Park, Warpath. Now if your game region is PAL, sometimes you won't need to do this PAL to NTSC fix, especially the fixed screen height. Okay. Uh, as of now, I don't really need it, so we're going to skip that. Okay, that's all you need to do, but the thing is, on the XMB, you won't recognize it. See, here's the preview, so it won't really show that well. So that's why we need to customize it. Click Customize the eBoot. And you can customize the pictures by selecting images. Now you will need icon o.png and pick one.png. Then you can easily recognize your game. Now here's the thing: if you have an image already, and if it's not the size it asks for, if you see here, it's asked for 144 by 80, and it's a PNG. But here it says JPEG and it's 985 by 969 that's too huge now here's the thing using Vista's paint and XP's paint is kind of stupid but using Windows 7 paint is probably your best and easiest option and if you have Photoshop you're lucky so I'll just show you how to do it in Photoshop great I had to do it this way For some reason my stack stock is not working at the moment Okay. So anyways, let's look for it. There we go. Let's open it. I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible. Okay. So, uh, let's open it. Let's open the image. Uh, there we go. This one. Okay. So once you open it up, you're gonna go to image and uh, image size, okay? And we're gonna resize it to what it wants for pick one, which is 144 by 80, okay? It should be resized. Now it's really small, okay? And then we're gonna go to save as. We're done actually, and then we're gonna save it as a PNG file. Now save it, and then what you're gonna do? I already have it. Uh, click this browse icon over there and browse for your new icon which is this one now pick one is the background which is important so here's how it looks like now we have the icon now the background is also important so I already have one there do the same steps now you can find any image you want but as long as it relates to the game so you can easily recognize it now here is how it looks like in the XMB game boot I'm just gonna skip that that's all we need to do click go now if it asks for this you, do you want to fix do you want to use the PAL to NTC fix? No, I don't need it. Oh, wait, I do. Let's see, so are you sure you want to do it? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, okay, so now it should start. It it should take about a minute or two, sometimes less than a minute, but it's going to take a minute for me. So I'm going to continue once it's done, and then I'll show you what to do. 
All right, now that it's done, it's going to say conversion done. Yay. Do you want to transfer the game to the PSP now? No. It's currently charging, and once I get in a battery, then I'll show you what to do. But in the meantime, your new um, eboot file should be in a new folder called the name. And there's your eboot.pvp, which is your game. Now it's 391 MB, whereas earlier it was 700 MB. So it, is, it has been compressed less than about almost 300 MB, somewhere around more than 300 MB. Okay, so yeah, I'll continue when my PSP is charged enough to show you what to do. Okay, so now I connected my PSP into USB mode, and what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the memory card, go to PSP, and then go to game. And from there, you're going to copy that newly created folder with the eboot file into the game folder. Now, I already have it in there, but this has the NTSC fix, which has some stupid screen problems. So, delete. Okay, and I'm going to just copy this in there. And as usual, it's going to take quite a while. Okay, but anyways, once it's done, I'm going to show you how, how it looks like in, on the PSP using Remote Joy. And, uh, so, let's switch. Alright, so now I'm loading up my PSP again. Okay. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the game section. And there's our new game, Wolf at Jurassic Park. Now I'm sure you remember Dino Crisis as well. I also had that. I know it was boring, but you got to remember the classics. But anyways... Here's the game, let's load it up. Now, here is one thing, the screen won't be filled up, like, it will be a little bit small, but you can't stretch that. Now, I can't really show you, because if I press the home button while using Remote Joy, it's gonna crash. So, if you wanna know how to change the screen, just look at the description, and there'll be like a text to just see. So there is a way you can stretch this. Just go to the home menu and there is like some options. You will have the home menu is different in the uh when you're playing a PlayStation 1 game. You can configure the buttons of the PlayStation 1 controller on your PSP. And you can change the screen. Uh like you can stretch the screen if you want. That's like so scary. Okay, let's skip that. Language, English. I've already set the buttons on this thing, so no need to do anything. Yeah. Main menu should load up now. Ooh, a raptor. Okay, anyway, so it works. Let's go to versus. I believe this is multiplayer for some reason. Uh. T-Rex. I believe I chose the wrong color for this guy. Wait a minute, that's multiplayer. Okay, let me choose something else. Arcade is probably my favorite one. Ooh. Ugh, the screen is so small. Anyways, I'm sure you know that it worked. But let me just show you some gameplay of this. I just love this part. In every level, it shows some sort of opening. But it's not scary. You know. And I don't remember the move, so please don't blame me. Yeah, I'm getting owned. Anyways, now by now I'm sure you know it worked. Next time I'll show you how to get this working on your PSP. I what am I saying on PC? Okay, now that I showed you on the PSP. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't want to subscribe for more, so um, thanks for watching and yay victory!